Hello everyone and welcome back. In today's video, we will learn how to send our form data to the backend. The form provides us with two different ways to send data. First one is get. This is the default option. And the second one is post. Form element provides us with an attribute called method to select either of these options. Let's try an example to understand these things better. Let's bring up our code editor. So, as I just mentioned, form provides us with an attribute called method for this purpose. So let's add a method. So by default it's get, but still let's just use get here first. Let's save it. So coming back to our form. When we send data via get, it is visible in the browser's address bar. Let's try clicking the register button without filling the form and see what happens. So when I click on register button, as you can see in the URL, we've got all these fields. So we've got a full name, email, password, confirm password, security question, and answer. So these keys are the same values that we've given here in the name. So for name, we've given full hyphen name. For email, we've given a just name, just email. For password, we've given it password and so on. So if I change it to just full name and I save it and I click on the register button and now as you can see the key is just full name and say for example if I remove the key let's save it and now if I click on register so the full name field is no more in the URL so as I mentioned earlier if you don't give a value to name then that Input field is not sent to the backend. So let's just revert it. Let's save it again. Let's fill the form this time. So let's say Kafi, Kafi, Khana, the Gmail. Let's say password something, confirm password something. Let's say mail. Let's say first job software developer and let's click on register and now as you can see in the url for full name we've got cafe for email we've got the email id that we just entered for the password it's showing us here cafe and the same for confirm password and then for the gender and the security question for his job and the answer is also here software developer so as you can see, so whatever data we entered in the form is visible in the URL. So this just means you cannot use get when you are sending some secure data. So it can only be used when we are sending non-secure data. For example, something which is not password or tokens. Also, the page URLs have a character limit, which is about 3000 characters. So this makes get unsuitable for sending large data. So for example, if this text box accepted say 3000 characters and someone actually wrote 3000 characters so all that data wouldn't be sent to the backend something would be trimmed out so this makes get unsuitable for sending large data so one example you can use get with a search box so when user clicks on the search button then you can send the search string as get request and it will be visible in the page url which is absolutely all right now talking about the second option which was post so if you're sending data via post method then you don't need to worry about the character limit because it has no size limitations also the post data is not visible in the url so it is safe to send the sensitive data for example uh, passwords or access tokens etc etc so if you're wondering what happens when this data goes to the back end or how is it processed what happens behind the scenes that is completely out of the scope of this video. But I'll just give you a little idea about what happens. So when this data is sent to the backend, backend parses all this data. It needs to know, okay, this is the full name, this is the password, this is a confirmed password. And that's why the values are in key value pairs. And then depending on the business case, if the data is just to be stored and the user is supposed to be created, that's done and a success response is sent to the front end where you can just show a success pop-up that uh, congratulations, your account is created or 
etc etc that's just a top level idea about that we cannot go in the details at least not in this video that's all for today guys if there is something that you did not understand feel free to drop a comment and we will discuss it see you in the next video bye and take care